Gateways to Understanding Music is a book that introduces the reader to all types of music from around the world and from throughout history. And each uh, gateway is based on the gateway of a certain recording. Uh, and that recording serves as a kind of portal into a musical world. My hope is that they provide a model for someone encountering any kind of music uh, for a set of questions and a set of kind of thinking tools uh, that can help someone really uh, familiarize themselves and understand music that might seem uh, pretty outside of their grid or to help them really understand more deeply music that they already like. For me, writing about music in a book like this is really inseparable from my life as a musician and as a composer. The way that I write about music actually affects the way that I play it. For me as a saxophone player, I've always found John Coltrane really inspiring. Um, but musicians from jazz and from a lot of different genres kind of have continued to turn to him and his music uh, for inspiration. Another gateway that I found particularly interesting uh, is uh, the gateway to Balinese gamelan. Because I think gamelan is one of many musical traditions that is really unfamiliar and can come across as um, just something completely new. And it's really hard uh, sometimes for students to situate that in a particular time period. We have all of those gateways to the blues, to early modernism and European classical music through Stravinsky, uh, through uh, the gateway to ragtime. We have all these things kind of in the same chapter alongside Balinese Gamelan to say, you know, all these things were happening in the world at the same time uh, in many different places. But you can start to see how these things are uh, inter interrelated. Really kind of at the heart of this book uh, is that value that you know all of us are living here in the world together. Uh, and music is this kind of almost easy uh, entrance point into understanding people.